Hello my wonderful ravens and welcome to my channel. My name is Chantel and today sadly the series of building Dumbledore's office has come to an end. And how better to end a series with a recap before the final assembly and fly through. This series started with the creation of Fox the Phoenix out of Paula McClay. Something I thought I actually would not be able to pull off, but I did to my own surprise. Of course, then there was the actual office that needed to be built, mainly out of cardboard as I like to recycle materials. It involved a lot of cutting, measuring, more cutting and gluing. I think I used about 100 glue sticks, 10 egg cartons, 2 bottles of Mod Podge and a whole bunch of other materials. Part 3 I put the floors together with balsa wood. It's a long process, especially with the floor patterns, but it paid off and I would love to have floors like that in my own house. I also built the stone stairs and some cabinets. Part 4 was where I collaborated with Danny from Wizardry Workshop. I painted all the cabinets and the walls of the lower tier, made some books and bits and bobs to fill up those cabinets, and Danny created the prints for the miniature paintings, which I am still very grateful for, as they look absolutely fantastic. Part 5 brought along the mid-tier with tall bookcases that are completely made out of cardboard. And as a bit of a special treat, I put in a miniature book tutorial at the end of that particular video. A playlist of all the videos can be found in the iCard section and in the description box below. Moving on to part 6 in the series, in which I built the memory cabinet, a highly anticipated video by you all. It was an interesting build and I probably have to rewatch my own video to remember how I constructed it. It involved a lot of gold paint and fiddly gluing, but again the details paid off in the end. In part 7 I made the final tier and the stairs leading up to the top tier. As far as difficulty goes, this was the most difficult part of the whole project. It is the curve that the stairs make and it having to connect to the top tier, but still make the tiers removable from each other wasn't easy. The pen sieve I created in part 8 was a really fun build. I used the Dremel to carve the bowl part of the pen sieve into the wood, which was fun and satisfying to do. In the final part of this video, you will see that I have filled the pen sieve with resin. The arches and the curtains were added in part 9 and this is where Dumbledore's office really came together for me. I might have cried at my achievements at that point. We all thought this series was going to end at part 10, but I added another two videos after that one. Part 10 is where I built the fireplace and besides the embellishment, this build is completely made out of cardboard. Especially the sculpting of the crest was a lot of fun to do. The astrology chair in part 11 came out a lot better than I expected. Starting from scratch with a balloon and paper mache is not what I often do, but it was fun to explore this art medium and include it into this series. Then last but certainly not least, there is part 12 where I built the desk and the chair. Now please enjoy the final assembly of Dumbledore's office.
And that, my lovely ravens, is the end of this series. I hope you all enjoyed this series and that you will continue to come along for more series on my channel. I want to thank you and especially my patrons for all their support throughout this series. Without you, there would be no Dumbledore's office. The support, love and encouragement that you have shown me really means the world to me. Thank you all so much for being here and stay awesome. Please check out my social media in the description box below and if you're new here, welcome! Don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos and of course become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!